So what's going on YouTube? I know this is not ample uh, filming conditions, but it's 74 degrees, 20% humidity in Houston. This is unheard of, so I'm taking advantage of it. Today is a super exciting day, really moving into the warehouse. Behind me is all the remaining Fuel Force stuff I have from previous launches. Also, I should have my office finished today. I'm gonna show you guys my desk setup and everything I use on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to get my job done and edit these videos and, and everything else. I have a couple car reviews planned, but the holidays just ended. Everybody's still hanging out with their families. By the way, happy late Thanksgiving. Just doing a vlog today and I guess we'll see where it goes. Also, quick update from my last video. If you missed that video, the link will be up here somewhere. But basically I disabled the stop start feature in the Raptor. Yo, a lot of people were like, Joe, you should get a four scan, you should code it out. I'm gonna order one for you guys and walk you through how to code that out because apparently there's a couple ways to handle this and, and I did it, I guess like the, the cheap easy way and a lot of you guys seemed unhappy that I wasn't gonna like code it out. If you did end up doing what I did in the last video, it works phenomenally. I haven't pressed that button in a week. It's been amazing. Also, almost ran out of gas yesterday. I would've had to push my truck to the gas station. That would've been a great follow-up video to disabling auto stop start would be running out of gas. Yeah. ordered um, while I was on holiday so if it took a couple days for your order to go out my bad but uh, I'm gonna throw in like an extra keychain and a sticker for you guys I apologize it won't happen again finally all moved in so hopefully things get a little bit smoother so this is the current setup uh, at the fuel force warehouse I have one rack As you guys can see I really have no inventory right now on uh, a little packing table, this will expand and grow as the fuel force grows. Everyone did Black Friday. Like everyone I know did Black Friday. I decided I'm gonna do Cyber Monday because no one was really doing Cyber Monday. And this way I'm, I'm not like trying to sell stuff the same day as all of my friends. Behind me is all the inventory I have left. A lot of this was reorders. That whole bottom section is small and extra smalls. I made a typo uh, on an order and ended up ordering way too many extra smalls. And I don't have anyone under the age of like, 10 that really watches me. So tomorrow or really today, uh, first link in the description will take you to the website. Everything including the hats and decals and stuff are like 20 to 40% off. Uh, free shipping in the US over $50. And the extra smalls and smalls, I think I'm gonna make them like 60% off. I just need to get rid of them. So if you have a little brother or girlfriend or someone that's into cars, maybe think about getting them something. So I'll finish this up and then I'll show you guys current state of the office and, and go through everything I use on a daily basis to get my job done. Well, let's spin into it. Minus a couple of things, this is basically gonna be my daily driver going forward. I actually make a living um, developing software. I'm also a huge techie, so I want the latest and greatest, obviously. We're gonna start off with the actual desk itself. My dad owns a cabinetry company and he made me these butcher blocks. And I'm a huge fan of oversized desks. So this desk actually seven foot by three foot. The legs were a little flimsy just because of how long the desk is. So I actually welded a beam between the two and spray painted the legs black. I can't give you a link to buy this because it doesn't exist but you could do it yourself with a decent wood shop and someone that knows how to weld. Let's get into tech. So the brain behind the setup is a 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch loaded out. This is the i9, six core, 12 threads, 32 gigs of RAM and a terabyte hard drive. This thing sets you back like four grand, but it is so worth it because no one else can offer such a powerful laptop in such a small form factor. Also, I have a D-brand skin on it. You can tell it's a MacBook, but at least it's, it's my own, I guess. Like, I don't mistake it for the other Space Gray laptops laying around. And I have this laptop sitting in a Space Gray uh, 12 South Book Arc. Basically, it's just a holder. If it's laying flat, it obviously takes up a lot more of my desk. Not that I need the extra space, but I, I don't know. It just looks nice um, when it's docked. The reason that I have this thing docked is because of something called a USB-C port. USB-C can basically transfer um, enough data and power through one connection that all you have to do is plug in that one connection and your monitor becomes your dock. So my keyboard and mouse are plugged into my monitor, uh, my external hard drive is plugged into my monitor, as well as headphones and speakers. So I plug one thing into my laptop and I have a full blown workstation for the whole day. The monitor itself is a Dell 38 inch ultra wide. That's essentially the dock for my whole setup as well as just a giant screen that looks phenomenal. Highly recommend it whether you have USB-C or not. Um, if you're a content creator, you can see the entire timeline in Premiere. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. For the keyboard, I switch back and forth. So this is the Space Gray 
Apple wireless keyboard. I absolutely love this thing. A lot of people don't like it because the key travel. Um, I actually prefer it. I type faster on this than anything else. The battery lasts like three months and it charges with a lightning port, uh, which is the same port that I use to charge my phone. And I always have one plugged in. So charging it's super simple. But when I'm sitting down writing code for like six hours at a time, I actually have been using this thing. This is the Vortex Gear. I believe it's the Race 3. I saw this thing online and I immediately fell in love with it. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's super small. The only drawback is it's not wireless. So you will have to have some kind of dock to plug it into. If I am sitting here typing for hours on end, I prefer to have um, the mechanical keyboard. This is probably my favorite mechanical keyboard uh, for the MacBook Pro currently. I have a Space Gray Apple trackpad. A lot of people don't like this. I've gotten so used to using the trackpad on my MacBook um, that I've just kind of defaulted to using a trackpad all the time. And when I am um, doing rotoscoping or something where I really want a mouse, I have an MX I forgot the name of it, but it's also space gray. Everything ties together really well. I keep this on my desk, but I don't use it uh, a whole lot. For audio, I have a Sonos One. It's the latest and greatest from Sonos and has Alexa built into it. I can use Alexa to play music from Spotify and everything else. Alexa, play Freebird. Freebird by Leonard Skinner on Amazon Music. Alexa, volume nine. It sounds incredible for how small it is, and I can control it from my phone and my MacBook, so it's kind of on my desk playing music all day long. Uh, the ultra wide actually has pretty good speakers in it, so when I'm watching videos and YouTube and stuff, I just use the speakers built into there, or I have headphones on. Either way, Alexa, shut the fuck up. So if I'm watching YouTube videos and stuff, I use the speakers built into the Dell. That's what I use for music. That's basically it as far as what's on my desk, as far as tech goes. I also have this really cool, I don't even know where this came from, the little pin cup with my neon markers for my glass blackboard. I actually love that thing way too much. Becca showed it to me and I ordered one and I will never go back to a white blackboard. That's so much cooler to me. It doesn't do anything different, it just looks really cool. While I'm on the topic, I'll also just touch on software that I use on a daily basis. Just really, really quick. Premiere Pro is what I edit with basically nonstop. After Effects is my go-to for all kinds of compositing and stuff like that. Photoshop, adding stuff to photos. Lightroom for actually editing photos. Basically the entire Adobe suite I use on a daily basis. Framer for UI design. I use Atom.io as a code editor. And Chrome. Those are basically the apps I use on my computer day in and day out. I also really want to put two chairs uh, and some kind of console table in the back and maybe a rug um, and then I have some artwork coming from over there. That'll be in a future video. One thing I didn't think about though is this monitor is so goddamn big that if I'm sitting here, I actually can't um, talk to anybody if they were sitting in a chair there. I'd only be able to talk to people in this chair. It does turn and move around, but not that much. So the monitor kind of renders the idea of having this like a meeting area ruined, but I don't even care because it's worth it to have this giant monitor. Let's go to Becca's. We're going to finish this video out uh, doing a montage decorating our Christmas tree and the name of the holiday spirit. Let's go. Uh -huh.